Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a screenshot on your iPhone without the home or the power button. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, of course, the easiest way, the default way to take a snapshot or a screenshot on your iPhone is by tapping the power and the volume up button. Now, this takes a quick screenshot. However, it requires the use of that power button, the volume up button, or if you have an older iPhone, the home button. You can double tap the home button and take a screenshot um, and you can like use that screenshot and edit it and crop it and all that stuff. Now, if you wanted to take a screenshot without any of those buttons, the power button or the home button, the first thing that you can do is go into settings here and then we'll scroll down and we'll go to accessibility. And then you can see under physical and motor, you can see touch, we'll tap on touch there. And then that very first option, assistive touch, we'll wanna use that turn on assistive touch here. And you can see a little dot appears at the bottom right. You can move that dot around, but this is what we're gonna to use to take that screenshot. So I can tap on that dot, and then I can tap on device at the top right here, and then at the bottom right, more, and you can see at the top right, it gives me a screenshot icon. So I can tap that screenshot, and you can see that it just took a screenshot of my screen. So you can do this on anything that you want. You can open up Instagram, and you can again, go to you know whatever, um, thing that you want, post that you want to take a screenshot on, go to that assistive touch, device, more, screenshot. You can take a screenshot of that um, and you can use that, you can tap on the screenshot, you can edit it, you can crop it, you can do whatever you want with it, save it to your photos, send it to a friend or whatever you want. But that's how you take a screenshot without the power button or the home button. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions from the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.